The communists are calling it opium for the mind. Stocks tumbling for Chinese technology group Tencent after criticism from a state-run newspaper uh, about what they're doing. All this part of the government's continuing takeover of Chinese technology sector. So what's going on? Are the Chinese communists planning for something a lot bigger? Here now to discuss is Marsha Blackburn, a Republican senator from Tennessee. Senator, great to see you. Thank you for being here. Uh, a lot of people are wondering whether the Chinese are tightening their control in in the country with the with the so-called private sector, which always had a bit of the government, but now it's totally being taken over with what they're doing in Hong Kong, with their eyes on Taiwan. Is that what's happening? Are they really preparing themselves for major confrontations with the West? It's so interesting to watch the Chinese Communist Party right now because they do not feel threatened by Joe Biden. They knew that they had to deal with President Donald Trump, and he got the Chinese to deal with manipulating their currency. He held them accountable for COVID. He worked on uh, trade deals. And now, with Joe Biden in the White House, the Communist Chinese feel like this is the go sign for them. And you see the Communist Party moving forward and beginning to push different sectors of their economy, whether it is tech companies, whether it is education companies, they are exercising their right because they're involved in everybody's yeah. company. Yeah, well, the they Communist want their Communist Party is the government. They're tightening you know. it all up. They, they want complete right. control now. And of course, Meanwhile, well, not only that, David, yeah. they want global domination by the right. mid-century. Right. This is their time to make gains. So whether it is dealing with companies like Nike and Apple or the NBA that are all there in Xinjiang, uh, products that are being made by slave labor, whether it is dealing with the genocide on the Uyghurs, whether it is looking at what they're doing to Chinese companies like Tencent, then you are seeing an aggressiveness that they have not exercised to this point. Well, they've taken over Hong Kong, Senator. Yes. They've clearly taken it over, and, and they have their eyes on Taiwan. What does the yes. Biden administration do if they try to march into Taiwan? We have a treaty with Taiwan. It's not one of the yes, tightest treaties in the world. But what do you think the Biden administration would do? And we have honored that in, in times past. The Biden administration needs to be very clear with President Xi and the Chinese Communist Party that no, you cannot go into Taiwan. Taiwan is not yours. You cannot continue to push into the South China Sea. But you if they have no respect for its forgiving, Senator, but if they have yeah. no respect for, for what the Biden administration is saying, that's not going to do any good. What happens if they go in? Do you think the Biden administration would do anything? I think the U.S. Senate would be there to stand with Taiwan. And the Biden administration needs to pick up their pace when it comes to sanctions. They need to pick up their pace in sending this message to U.S. companies that are there in China. They need to warn investors that are invested in these Chinese companies. Think about it. All of a sudden, overnight, they can run the value of your company right. to zero to zero. Yeah. This is what the Chinese Communist Party is doing so that they, the Communist Party, can go take the assets of this company and control this right. company. Right. Senator, we got to leave it there. There's much more to say about this. I have a feeling yes, we're going to talk is. about this some more uh, in, in days and weeks to come. Thank you for